All right, guys, this is a quick video for all you boat fans out there. This is my starter off of the starboard engine. It is a reverse rotation engine. So yeah, these things are kind of weird in here. Um, but this starter has these weird inertia drive built into it. Uh, when the uh, starter spins, it throws this Bendix out and it engages the flywheel. Unfortunately, I had a little kickback and I chipped a tooth on my uh, Bendix. So I am not going to leave this in there because if I destroy that flywheel, <laughs> then it's an engine out operation to replace it. So um, they don't make these starters anymore. This is an Arco, great brand, US made starter, 50160, which is the uh, clockwise rotation starter. And uh, I called around today and my local starter uh, alternator shop had this in their junk bin. I couldn't believe it. It is an exact match. It's perfect. So, a lot of people are confused with the way these inertia drives work. It's called inertia drive because that's what it uses. It uses inertia to engage the starter. So, when the flywheel or when the starter spins, boom, it engages, but then it locks. And as the engine takes over, it just clicks on this thing here. It doesn't want to go back in there until you reach a certain RPM and then it'll go back in there. I cannot reach the RPM by hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this thing on uh, my wire wheel and I'm gonna show you how this thing works. And you need to make sure you spin this the right direction, okay? So like I said, um, spinning it this way opens it up, so spinning it the other way should close it, okay? So, here we go. Gonna go flying. Whee! Bumping all this stuff in here. Okay, so this is my rigged up wire wheel here. You always want to use eye protection when you use a wire wheel. These wires will let go. And yeah, I pull them out of my skin all the time. So you can imagine how these things would hurt if they go into your eyeball. To hold this thing, I'm going to use this um, 3 8 inch um, extension rod. I'm just going to slide this on there using a socket so it doesn't bind up against the knurled part here. But that's a nice flat area to write on. And I'm going to use another one, another socket, for the other side. So it's kind of like a corner on the cob at this point. All right. So we're going to fire this thing up, okay? It's going to get a little bit loud. All right, well, hope you guys saw that. That was kind of cool. Okay. Now, when you reinstall this thing, make sure you don't open it up too far. Open it up just enough to see the um, dial pin. And actually, this dial pin is in the wrong location. So I may have to do this again. Oh, hang on, I gotta flip it around here. That's not the spot. I'm gonna rotate it around carefully until it gets lined up just right there you guys you guys can see through there i think okay and that is a funky tractor style 
inertia drive starter solenoid. So I hope this helps you guys if you have a boat. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this kind of tech, hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching.